Uh, Megan and myself had a baby boy um, early this morning, a very healthy boy. Um, mother and baby are doing incredibly well. Um, it's been the most amazing experience <laughs> I could ever um, possibly imagine. Well, we won't meet baby sis at Sussex for a couple of days. Harry came out and spoke in the news back here at Windsor Castle to a few gathered reporters. And uh, I mean, he looked like the cat that slipped the cream. Uh, new dad, absolutely ecstatic about the baby. They made it very clear right at the beginning that there was going to be no photo opportunity outside a hospital. They were not going to a hospital. They wanted an element of privacy to it. So much so that they're having a photo opportunity a couple of days after, probably around Wednesday or Thursday. Then we'll see, see the baby. Doubt we'll get any names then, but we'll see the baby then. And also it's a lot to ask for a new mother to walk out of hospital, best party frock, hair perfect, makeup perfect, looking a million dollars to face the media after such a traumatic experience. I think they've done it the right way. They set a trend. We don't know where the baby was born. I'd like to think that it was a home birth at Frogmore. And probably it was. You know, hospitals are big establishments. A lot of people going in and out, a lot of people there, and very difficult to keep a secret. The bookies like to think they're front runners. They've sort of got Arthur as, as, as a front runner. Albert's quite a nice front runner. Problem is that Harry is uh, a British prince. Meghan is a former American actress. So we've got two continents and um, two different cultures. So are we going to get a mix of British and American names? We've got to wait and see. They've probably got a list. They've probably been working on the list. Um, and we will know in the fullness of time. I think the book is, the book is might have got it wrong. Let's get rid of the word with tradition. You know, there's nothing traditional. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing traditional about going to the Lindo Wing. Princess Anne was the first one to do it in 1977 with the birth of Peter Phillips. Prior to that, um, Princess Margaret had her children, one at Clarence House, one at Glam's Castle. The Queen had all her children, Prince Charles at Clarence House, the rest at Buckingham Palace. Um, and the, the Duchess of Kent, for example, had her three children at home. So, you know, there's nothing traditional about going to a hospital. Harry has set a trend. Um, he probably might well do it the next time. And we have to wait and see.